this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily change the button layout or remap the buttons on your controller when you're playing Steam games. And you can do this pretty much for any Steam game. So just go to library and then choose one of the games in your profile or your collection. Let's go to Halo Infinite. And where you can see play, if you have your controller connected, you can go over to where it says controllers right here and go to view controller settings, select this, and then uh, we can choose the controller on the top. So it looks like my controller here is selected. And then we can go to uh, the layout here. We can use a community layout if we really want to. And we can look at the different layouts for that. Or we can use a template. Otherwise, we can go back and we can go to our own specific layout. So we can go to edit layout right here. And we can change any button round that we want. So you can see X is the A button, it looks like. So I think it's trying to map an Xbox controller over the PlayStation controller. So we can change it just by selecting this button right here and then pressing button on controller or whatnot. But here's the menu buttons, share options. So I can select this. And then I just pick a button on here. We can even go to like the mouse, keyboard, number pad, action, system, whatever. So we have like an infinite amount of stuff we can just change on here. Here's the D-pad. We can change D-pad up, down, left, right. Then the triggers. We have soft pull, fast pull, full pull. Uh, here's the joysticks. If we have uh, R3 click, the joysticks. If we go to this button, uh, we can change the horizontal scale, vertical scale. The aim response curve you might want to change in here. Linear is just a direct mapping. So sometimes I think I'll go like wide or extra wide and that will give it a little bit more snap to it. And so if you're sniping or something like that, here's output. Uh, yep. And then we have the dead zones if we want to change the dead zones for the controller. So we can change it right here. And then the outer ring and the heptics. If we have heptic if we want to turn off the controller uh, vibrations whatnot. So we can exit that and then let's go back. And we'll look at the other settings on here at the layout. Uh, we have the trackpad we can adjust and the gyro. So just change one of those and then you can save the selection. Otherwise you can just try one of the community layouts. Sometimes these are pretty good. So if I download this, this is how this uh, layout is set up. So it looks like left bumper is L1, okay. And then start is start, options. So it looks like everything's set up well. So you can apply it down here and try that out. So if the game doesn't have controller support officially, you can come to the community layout and then you can just try one of those community layouts and you should be able to use your controller. Like a battle bit remastered right here. So if I go to this and enable Steam support right here, I can just use a community layout and I can use this in the game. So I can just change it. So there is no official ones, but in the community there is one. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six tech.